welcome back to our channel. In this video, and the last in this series, we leave the R303 and travel past some beautiful farms to arrive at the much anticipated Zurich farm and camp under the rocks at Lover's Lane campsite. Come along and enjoy the travels with us. I've been warned about a big male leopard and a female and to be careful of pup adders and baboons. So here we are, we've booked in at the farmhouse at Zurich. Uh, we've just entered the little Zurich area and uh, they've had an amazing amount of rain in this area. So the road is a little bit washed out and there's this pan which you, would you, you normally drive through, which is now full of water. And I'm sure they're very happy about that, especially the animals around here. And we're now having to drive around the edge of the pan and then these little side tracks over a bit of rock and stuff but looking beautiful right after a lovely drive through a bit of uh, soft sand and a, a bit of the circular route around the pan we have finally arrived at our campsite and this is what I have been waiting for for so long it's just absolutely spectacular we're going to be camping under this rock arch our hearts beat to the city streets We began to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young and it's just begun As she puts This is our campsite couldn't get better than this. Right, first night, Zurich. Sun has just set over these magnificent rock formations. We've got the fire going. A little bit chilly, but not too bad. Got the camp set up. The solar panel's been charging. And tonight we're going to have a lovely steak braai. First night, Zurich.
In this area, the southern tip of the Cedarburg, or what they call the Koa Felt, it really has a lot of sand rock art. And on this farm in particular, there are some superb examples. I really am hoping to find some of them. I came across this one under the, this overhang, not sure what these animals are, and apparently a lot more in the area. Uh, very close to the first overhang is the second one, and in this overhang is a very prolific amount of artwork on the rock walls here. These two sites are very close to the campsite and cannot be missed, and it is probably one of the big attractions here at Zoo Ridge. I found it quite strange to see what I called the traditional sand paintings mixed with what looked like somebody had added clothing to some of the other paintings. I asked the owners about this and they explained that the paintings with women wearing dresses and men with hats were painted by later generations of Khoisan about 300 years back. I'm not sure if this is entirely true, but my research does support this to some extent. To put this into perspective, some of the paintings have been dated back 8,000 years back. The original Sam people were the first inhabitants in South Africa and the Southern Africa more than 150,000 years ago. About 2,000 years ago, another cultural group appeared known as the Khoi Khoi. These two groups integrated and became known as the Khoi San. The European settlers named these people Bushmen which has subsequently been termed derogatory, so the name Khoisan is now the accepted name. This is the site of one of the original families that lived here. This is called the Overf or the Old Site. These occupants, the Fisser family, lived here in the late 1800s and had very basic accommodation. It would appear that they were sheep farmers, as is evident with the rock kraals dotted around the area. The only source of water here is behind those trees. There is a spring, a natural spring, and Apart from that, they would be very dependent upon the rain in the pans. So more, more evidence of uh, the Fissa family dwellings. This would also be uh, under overhang. Walls built up in front. And then obviously some sort of roof structure would have been attached up there. There are many of these caves, some of them are small, some of them bigger. This one goes in a little way. I have no intentions of going in there. Uh, we have been warned that there are two leopard in the area. Uh, one that hangs around camp, nearby camp, so we're just being on the lookout as well. Not a place to go walking around in the evening, I would imagine.
A great way to explore Zoo Ridge is to take the 4x4 trails, which takes us on a tour of this wonderland of stunning rock formation and colours. But some names lend themselves to exactly that, such as Amber Cave, Camel Rock Formation and Summer Place to name a few. So there are a number of tracks leading from the campsite it takes you around the whole of the Zoo Ridge area. Uh, we've just done through the one and comes out of this beautiful rock formation, lots of little caves and everything in there. Absolutely stunning rocks. has this canyon running along the boundary uh, apparently very deep I haven't been able to get to the edge of it yet a uh, bit of a walk from where you can park the car but very spectacular again
We now leave in Zurich. Um, it was very beautiful and extremely quiet, which is stunning. We had some lovely drives. We saw some very nice art. Um, what do you call it? Koisan art, eh? Rock art, because I'm not quite sure if it's all Koisan. Yeah. And uh, it was just so peaceful. There weren't many animals, in fact we didn't see any animals did we, just heard the odd baboon and um, we saw one Egyptian geese, goose and I think an eagle, hawk, hawk. otherwise very very still and tranquil. So this comes to the end of our camping trip and we are on our way home now been quite an eventful one. Right so on our way home from uh, Zurich, uh, camping there, been fantastic, very interesting place. Uh, we're coming home via uh, Ceres and then on to Worcester, Villiersdorp and then home. Uh, at the moment we're going down the Guido Pass, very nice and that's Ceres down at the bottom. Coming down to Citrus Doll. No, Ceres. Oh, I mean Ceres. I never get it right. Ceres Citrus Doll. So shall we call it Ceres today? Well, every day, because that's what it is. Such an abundance of water. Incredible. Right, there was an error. We were coming down Gheda Pass and I thought it was Ceres, but it wasn't. It was Prince Albert Hamlet, now in Ceres. We're going to now turn towards Wolseley Tuba and then Worcester. Worcester yeah. and Villiersdorf. Yeah. Hopefully we can get through and the roads are fixed now. Right, we're just departing from Ceres and we're going up Mitchell's Pass. So we come to the end of another fantastic camping adventure in this beautiful country of South Africa. 
Thanks for watching and sharing in our travels. Remember to subscribe and click on the bell icon or like button. That will really help the channel a lot. Keep watching for new videos which will be coming soon.